Today I'm going to go ahead and do a quick swap of SSDs. So I'm going to pull out this old Intel SSD out of my desktop machine so I can go ahead and up, use that to upgrade my um, Apple Mac Mini. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and remove uh, both front and back covers off your computer case. Here I've already removed the back cover. And you can see here I just need to remove the SATA connectors, the SATA power connector and the SATA data cable um, off the back of the drive I'm going to be taking out. Um, they, they pop off pretty easy, just go ahead and pull them off uh, like so. And then on the front side, once the cables are disconnected, uh, my case comes with these uh, quick remove drive bay slide trays, so you just go ahead and pop that out. See this old Intel drive here, uh, and the the drive just kind of connects to these drive bays. Four simple screws. So here's the new SSD I'm going to be upgrading to, uh, Samsung 840 Pro. Let me go ahead and just take out this old drive from this tray. Remove all the screws here. So got the tray. Uh, sorry, got the drive removed here, and let's open up the. Uh, Samsung box. It's a lot nicer, a lot nicer drive, all black. You can see it's really about the same. It's I mean it's exactly the same size as the Intel, except for it's a little bit uh, thinner, because the Intel has this, I don't know, this little black kind of plastic border around it. I don't really know what it's for, but anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and put the um, Samsung drive into the tray. All we have to do is just go ahead and screw the four screws back in the bottom. They're Screw slots on the uh, SSDs are standard size, so just go ahead and screw those all back in. Make sure they're all nice and snug. And the drive is now ready to be put back into the case. Yeah, you'll notice my SSD uh, tray here has these. Um, brackets they just kind of slide on there they either fit on these trays or they can also fit on like a three your normal standard three and a half inch drive so you don't have to screw your drives into the into your computer case it just kind of slide in and out makes it kind of convenient so here's the back end inside of my case you can see you just slide the drive back in snaps into place and then around back let's go ahead and just connect the power cable and the The, the data cable. You can see there. I mean, they really only go on one way. So there's two different size uh, cables. You see, they really only go one way. If I pull the old drive here, um, they got like an L shape to them, so they can only fit on one on uh, one direction. I don't know if you can get a good, if you can see a little bit better there, but I mean, they pretty much just snap on in there. So, anyways. I'll go ahead and uh, plug those back in, back of my computer case here. Make sure they're uh, snap into place. Um, sometimes if you don't have enough power, you know, um, enough um, extra power cables, you can get like an adapter to um, piggyback off, off some other cables, other power cables you have coming off your power supply. Uh, you can see I have one here. I really, it's really just an extension because my other ones wouldn't uh, reach. I'll show you that here. Here's a, the SATA cable here. SATA power, I mean. So this, that one, the other one wouldn't reach down on my drive, so I just got this adapter. It's kind of like an extension. So ready to put the put the cover back on. Make sure tuck these wires back in underneath. And just slide the case back on. And... Uh, I have a new SSD drive in there, so the new drive is in there ready to go. If you want to uh, check out how to upgrade a, a Mac Mini with an SSD drive, uh, you can check out my other video where I show step-by-step -step instructions on uh, how to do that. Thanks a lot.